Well, the feedback cycle relates particularly to those three questions. Where am I going? How am I going? And where to next? But there's another part. And the other part is there is feedback works primarily at three or four levels. The first level is feedback about the task, giving the students information about the content relative to those three feedback questions. And maybe they need to do more. Maybe they need to relearn. Maybe we need to reteach. So the first level is the task level. The second level is the process level. And this is where you as the instructor, you as the teacher, help the student perhaps to try different ways. Help them work out what the errors are and be more strategic. Give them some alternative ways of thinking about what they're doing. And you can see in that phase, the teacher's very involved. In contrast to the third phase, which we call the self-regulation or conceptual stage, and this is where you want the student to work out what's right and what is wrong in their work. You want them to have a go at working out other strategies. You want them to think aloud and talk with other students about how they understand the material. In many senses, that's the stage where they're seeking the feedback themselves. Now, many have argued there's a fourth level, and that is the self. And unfortunately, nearly all feedback about the person, Anne-Marie, you're a nice person, good girl, well done, actually distracts from the message. And so we argue very strongly that you should give praise to kids, but don't mix it up with the feedback information about the task, the process, or the self-regulation level. Because like humans, kids remember the praise and often forget the message. And so the feedback loop is going through that, where am I going, how am I going, where to next, along particularly those three, strat those three levels of task, process, and self-regulation.